start with the bracelet. You barely had to think that first lesson. Eyes up here. Let's talk about a few things to do on your site to make Google love you. We'll use our own sexy costume demo site as an example. First, Google loves title tags and they show up everywhere. The title tag is located in the head of an HTML page, so you don't see it on the page, but Google sees it. Google sees everything. Google usually uses this title tag in search results as the first line. They also show up on browser tabs like this. And when you bookmark something, the title is used. Let's break down what you want out of a title tag. First, it needs to describe what is actually on your web page. They need to be unique for each page, just like snowflakes. Everyone should be different and special. For instance, if you had a costume page of sexy firefighting and law enforcement costumes, that page title could be sexy public safety costumes. Keep it brief and easy to read with important phrases at the front. Phrases people you want to find your site are searching for. We'll show how to figure out what phrases to use later in this course with keyword research. Next is a description meta tag. This describes the page's content in a little more detail than the title tag. It also shows up in search results as a description like this. Next, you want your site to be organized. The better your site is organized, the better Googlebot crawls your content. You need a good hierarchy, which is reflected in your navigation and URL structure. Let's do an example with our sexy costume site. We have a main costumes page where the URL ends with sexy costumes. Then we'd also have a navigation link to that page in our main menu. Of course, there are subgenres of sexy costumes like healthcare or historical, including classics like sexy nurse or the always offensive sexy Native American. Now these categories would also be reflected with some kind of menu system, either on the sidebar or a drop-down menu. It's also good to have keywords in the URL related to the page content. One rule to structure URLs correctly is to think about what would happen if the user removed part of the URL. If a user does, they should get navigated to a page within the hierarchy of your site. Not 404, page not found error. Those are a few of the things you can do. There's tons more. We'll put more tips in the description. Next, we'll talk about some great SEO tools. Keep watching. I promise it's worth it.